How's it going guys, Linux Deli back with another video. Today's video will be taking a look at Arch Labs Linux and Manjaro. We'll be taking a look at them together since they are both Arch Linux based distributions kind of competing with each other here. So I got the Arch Labs Linux website here pulled up. It's fairly new OS. It, this one, from my understanding, boots you straight into a CLI environment, kind of like Arch Linux itself, but it has a easier installer than Arch Linux. I got that from right here. Then we're gonna hop on over to Manjaro's website. This one boots you into a GUI environment, graphical user interface. So it looks like it's gonna be a lot easier to install. So I'm gonna go and install both of these and we'll be taking a look at which one comes with more software, which one just is a better out of the box experience. So I'm going to go over and boot up my Arch Labs virtual machine and I'll get to when that is complete. Alright everybody, we are here in the Arch Labs shell, as you would say. It did boot me into Grub and it automatically booted me into the first option, which was into this session right here. So it looks like our options are standard install, which will just be Arch Labs installer run a live session. It said in the USB, um, not the USB, um, on their website, it says there was no live session. But it looks like here we do have a live session if we wanted to. We can change the install name and then all that other stuff. I'm just going to run Arch Labs installer. Hit enter and then we are booted into this terminal user interface. It looks like we are going to be using the arrow keys, spacebar, and enter just as usual. I'll pick English as the language. So show device tree. So it looks like we have nothing here. So we're gonna partition it. Here we're gonna use CF disk GPT. And I'm going to just fill up the entire disk here. Write that by going over to right hitting enter and typing yes we're going to go over to quit so we are done actually we could just do auto and that's going to remove everything and do it itself so we can have a manual partition table or you could just do it automatically which is nice as this one made two you could do it with one actually no it's going to be making a boot partition i forgot about that we have an option for encryption, LVM. So everything else seems pretty well. Select bootloader. Partitions must be mounted first. That is right. So mount partitions. Everything seems to be going here. Select whether to swap. We're not going to use a swap file because I do have. 25 gigs of RAM allocated to here. Select bootloader. We're going to use grub. Username and password. I'm going to do Linux daily. And a very secure password. Root. I'm just going to do a simple secure password as well. Okay. Invalid username. Probably because it doesn't like the caps. That should be good right there. Yep, it liked that one. System configuration. The Z shell is what I'm gonna pick here. But you do have an option for bash, which is the normal shell on like an Ubuntu system or anything of that nature. Enter a host name. I'm actually just gonna leave it at Arch Labs. Keyboard layout. When those is system locales, so I'm gonna scroll down and find EN. There should be a US right here. Hit enter and then set your time zone so American and then we're gonna go Chicago. That is fine with me. So it looks like here we have different options for kernels. We have the Linux, just regular Linux vanilla kernel, Linux LTS, which is going to be your long term support kernel. Should be a little bit more stable if you run that. Then a few other kernels, like the hardened kernel and the Zen kernel. I'm just going to go ahead with the vanilla 
Linux kernel. Select window manager or desktop. We have i3 gaps, open box, DWM, Plasma, GNOME. Since I did Plasma Manjaro, I'm going to do Plasma on Arch Labs. Additional packages. So it looks like we could pick all of our packages here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Audacity. Actually, never mind. I'm not going to pick any additional packages. Looks like we're going to have to space for that. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a few here that I feel should be a little worthwhile. I don't know. Steam is an option on here, so I'll pick that. VLC, and that should be good. Run a command on the installed system. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel out of that. Confirm choices and start the installation. Hit enter. And it looks like this is where it's going to install the system. And this might actually take a little while. So I'll get back to you when that is complete. Alright everybody, it looks like our Arch Labs installer is complete. It looks like we have a prompt to uh, review or change any of the files that are mounted. I'm not going to worry about any of that, so I'm just going to hit enter. And then it should reboot into our new Arch Labs installation. It was fairly straightforward here. Alright everybody, we are booted back into our grub installed on our actual hard drive, not the ISO file. So our options are Arch Labs Linux, advanced options for Arch Labs Linux, and memory tester. So I'm going to go ahead and just boot up to um, Arch Labs here. It's going to run through the basic steps. It looks like a normal Arch Linux boot process. Alright, so we are here booted into our Manjaro ISO. We have a few more options than we did with the uh, Arch Labs. We have the option to pick free and non-free driver so if you want to run the proprietary driver if you're running like an NVIDIA card for your graphics and you want better performance you might want to go with the non-free but for right now I'm just going to use the free open source drivers I'm going to go ahead and boot into the install environment Alright, so we're here booted into the install environment. So we got Manjaro Hello up there. I'm going to click and in launch installer right down there. We so we have 187 available updates. I'm going to click next for American English. Chicago, America is fine. English US for keyboard layout is perfectly fine. And then I am going to erase disk and install with no swap because I think 25 gigs of RAM is perfectly fine. What is my name? Linux Daily. Very secure password. And I'll do the same with the administrator account. Administrator being root. For an office suite I'm gonna pick LibreOffice. I haven't seen this option before that must be a new new option. And then here's where you view all your settings. Everything looks good to me. It's going to create an MS-DOS partition table instead of GPT, which is, I guess, OK. And we're going to go ahead and install. So unlike Arch Labs, Manjaro is all GUI-based for the install. So you don't get to see all the uh, stuff installing fly past the screen. It's all in a status bar. So this part's going to take a little while, so I'll get back to you when that is complete. Alright, so we are here booted back into our installation after the install was complete. So we are at the KDE login prompt, so we're just going to type in our very secure password. Log into our newly installed system. Alright everybody, we are here booted into our new Manjaro 19.0.2 install. The resolution, it's not letting me really change it without installing all the guest editions, which is um, kind of unfortunate, but I'm going to get out of Manjaro Hello. And it didn't give me any option on the install to pick like what kind of packages I want other than the, um, the LibreOffice, like the uh, Office Suite here. 
So let's see what it all comes installed with. It has um, QT, um, the interface, GUI interface designer if you're going to program with GUI interfaces. Our LibreOffice. We have Steam pre-installed, which is quite nice if you're into the gaming. So pretty much just a lot of KDE stuff since this is the KDE environment here. So out of the box, I would say cleaner, like the cleaner, like more easy to install would probably be go to Manjaro here. But if you are more wanting to fully customize your system to your preferences during the install, like if you want to run this kernel and don't want to run, let's just say if you don't want to run the Linux generic kernel, but you want to run like the Linux long term support, the Linux LTS. Arch Labs is probably the one you want to run. It's more customizable within the install. You need to pick whatever you want to be installed during there. But with like a Manjaro, it's more user friendly on the install. It lets you uh, pick all that stuff after the fact within system settings. You need to pick like your display drivers and all that through here. But other than that, I would say they both have their different purposes. Personally, as a fan, I'm more of an Arch Labs itself fan because I like to customize my system during the install. More like an Arch Linux based thing. Both of these include Pac Man, so I can go here and boot up a terminal. This one's going to be the console terminal and do a sudo Pac Man s. I'll just do NeoFetch like we did last time, type in our very secure password, and yes, we want to proceed with the installation. Then you run that, of course, we get the same stuff here. This is the 5.4.23 kernel and whatnot. We're running Bash on this one. The other one, I installed uh, the Z shell, but we did have the Bash option there. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. I will catch you in the next one.